Hey guys, I uh, kind of got things sorted with uh, the Risa now, so she's packaged up and waiting to go down to the post office. Uh, but I thought I'd finish off doing my little box something for today and show you exactly what I got as part of the split because uh, I thought you guys might be interested. Uh, it's been a bit crazy the last couple of days, so sorry if I've not been very active, it's just I've been working a heck of a lot. Um, but I have, I maybe should just tell you some updates just now. Um, I have. This is either a set of anklers or this is a set from an Etsy order placed. Um, I'm not quite sure which one because they're both shipped out about the same time. Um, but um, I also have in the next couple of months. Oh, this is the one from the Etsy order. This is exciting. Okay, so I've been waiting for this order for a little while because um, it's a pre order. This is the name of the company. Uber Awesome. And so I got this little dress. And it comes with this extra little neck piece which you can have um, either going around the neck or you can just take it off. But it's really cute. And it's got this, it's a maxi dress. The hem at the end is not very well finished but I can fix that. It's uber adorable. So that fits um, my mini fees. And then I got... But yeah I've got a pair of anchors coming in the post from a girl from America and I'm really excited to get those because they are absolutely gorgeous and they're such a reasonable price. And I also have ordered a um, cat as a little pet for my dolls. So that's really exciting as well, um, but that won't be coming for about three or four months. Um, it's from Even Cat or Even Pet or something like that. Um, it's one where they have like dogs and stuff as well. They've got an amazing range, so I thought I may as well buy a cat um, because that'll go with my bunny rabbit and um, I just thought it'd be really cute to give my dolls some more pets. Um, these are a pair of little lace shorts. I've been wanting a pair of these for ages. so. These are mainly for like my steampunk girl, but they'll end up on other girls as well. Fit mini fees. And then this is just a really baggy, kind of loose fitting um, jumper. It's a really pretty colour. And it's just really loose fitting, it's got a little clasp at the back. So you can fit their head in. It's really, really cute. Can't wait to get back to Glasgow so I can try these all on my dolls. Anyway, um, I'll show you what I got from the um, the split. So I got the event head, which kind of looks like a Chloe, but the eyes seem a little bit kind of closer together and a bit wider. Um, it's a really cute face. I'll see how it goes with my girl that I'm thinking for her. Um, kind of excited about it. Um, oh, the other thing I meant to tell you is I managed to get myself an um, Alisa rhubarb, who's now on layaway. So I'll be getting her in about three months' time. Oh, this is good. Now that I've got. Oh, look at this wig, it's fabby! I was thinking of, the reason I wanted to get the, keep the wig was because um, I'm thinking of doing a Claymore which is an anime I'm really obsessed with just now. Uh, um, cosplay for it. And all the girls have these like this amazing kind of like silvery hair. And I just thought that this wig was just absolutely perfect for it. So that's the main reason I kept the wig. But it's absolutely gorgeous. I've not got like a long blonde wig. Actually I don't think I have a blonde wig. Um, so I have a blonde wig now. It's like a proper blonde, platinum blonde. I've got a kind of sandy blonde wig that I use for my chi cosplay, as you saw on uh, my girl when I had her. Anyway, sorry I'm a bit tired today. <laughs> this massive big axe and it's got a spiral at the bottom. It's absolutely amazing. Like. This is it in comparison to my hand. It's absolutely amazing and really, really nicely detailed. It's 
gorgeous. I'm really excited about having this. It's going to start playing into my story a little bit. This is the coolest thing, I think, was the throwing knives, which sit in part of her costume, which is awesome. This was one of the reasons I got her, was because she had a tiny little face mask, which is pretty epic, and it was one of the things I really liked about the steampunk thing, and it will go really well with my story as well. So, really chuffed. I think these are meant to be for the backs of the shoes. There's little white bits, and then... I think, yeah, I think they slot into the back. Yeah, they do. They slot just into the back of the shoe. You can just see a wee indentation. I won't take these out just now because they're a bit fiddly. These are the eyes that I got to keep. Oops. I wish this would focus. It's really annoying. You can see that like, they're really sparkly. I'm thinking of maybe changing my steampunk girl's eyes to maybe these and then giving my boy like maybe the arm and the eye. I don't know yet. I'm still playing about with ideas. But I'm really excited to start like playing around with them. Okay. And this is the outfit. This is the bit I'm really excited for. So you've got these adorable little handcuffs, which have got these beautiful beading around the edge. So well detailed. Like this must be a nightmare to make. I'm not sure what this bit is. But it's an attack that goes a surround part of the costume. I need to have a sit and look at the outfit and kind of work everything out. This is a little brooch part for the clasps for the um, hood. This is one of the many belts for the outfit. Another belt. That's, I think, for the little daggers. So he's got the little pouches there. This is the little corset, which is adorable. So it, it goes up the front. You could probably flip it and it probably still look fine. But I really like it that it's at the front. And it's an underbust one. Oh, these socks are adorable. You've got these little socks with the bow. Little sh leather shorts. We like short shorts. They're probably better than the previous shorts I had. Leather shorts. This is got an underskirt. And then this is the top bit, so you don't actually see the under bit, you just see the top bit. And then you have this epic cloak. It's absolutely stunning, it's so well made. I'm so excited to try this on my girl. Anyway, so that's my split and my Etsy order. Um, I will hopefully be, I'm going back to Glasgow in about a month. So I'll get a chance to actually sit and play with my dolls and update everything. I have a lot of face-ups to update. I have a lot of things to update on my boys and my girls. Um, so I'm really, really excited to get back to Glasgow so I can start updating them. Um, but I will keep you posted about everything else that's happening in my dolly life. And I will hopefully see all of you guys really, really soon. So all of you take care and I'll chat to you really soon. Bye.